Kids gone wild, but in a good way. They have spent the last nine months learning about and building tiny homes for animals that live along the Chicago River. At the Brookfield Zoo, middle schoolers Anna and Vincent are getting up close and personal with a river otter, just one of the critters they helped support with a project that lasted the entire school year. It taught me that every single animal in the ecosystem is very important because without one of them, the entire ecosystem can collapse. Along the north branch of the Chicago River, the aptly nicknamed Wild Mile, students from the city and suburbs work together to build tiny habitats. I built an eastern screech owl house made out of a mailbox. And Vincent made a floating platform for otters and their buddies. And the turtles also can go onto it to like bask in the sun. And when they bask in the sun, we put a we put like a covering on the top so that birds can't like attack them. The after school program is offered through the Chicago Zoological Society's King Conservation Leadership Academy. It's really that idea of being able to start with a child at a very young age, just like Vincent and Anna have done. They started actually within our ZAP programs, our early childhood programs, and they have moved up through. Hopefully they'll become King Scholars after this, and then hopefully they'll uh, start pursuing a opportunity with internships and maybe even a career at the Brookfield Zoo. The kids, called science explorers, designed and constructed the habitats and then created signage to inform visitors of their importance. I hope that it will be able to help the otters live more comfortably. I hope it shows that you can do something to help um, wildlife and that it doesn't need to be huge. It can just be something small, like even just spreading the word about animals. The King Conservation Leadership Academy is free to the students who participate, all made possible by generous donors. If you'd like to learn more and register, head to czs.org slash kingacademy. And we're always looking to hear your good news, so email us at goodnews at fox.com. 